Once upon a time in the quaint town of Quirksville, there lived a man named Jerry. Jerry was your average Joe, with a penchant for socks that never matched and a knack for getting into absurd situations. One fateful day, Jerry decided to buy a lottery ticket on a whim while waiting in line at the grocery store. Little did he know this spur-of-the-moment decision would change his life forever. To Jerry's utter disbelief, he won the grand prize in the lottery, a whopping $100 million. Unable to contain his excitement, Jerry ran through the streets of Quirksville shouting, I'm rich! I'm ridiculously, absurdly, preposterously rich! But as luck would have it, Jerry's newfound fortune came with a twist. The lottery organizers, in a bizarre turn of events, informed him that he could only claim his prize if he spent the entire amount within 24 hours. Determined to seize the opportunity, Jerry embarked on a wild spending spree that would put even the most extravagant billionaires to shame. He bought a pet ostrich named Mr. Feathers, a solid gold bathtub, and a lifetime supply of bubblegum-flavored toothpaste. Next, Jerry decided to fulfill his lifelong dream of owning a private island. He bought the most remote and uninhabited island he could find, and promptly declared himself king. However, his reign was short-lived, when he realized that the island was infested with sentient coconut crabs that demanded to be worshipped as deities. Undeterred, Jerry hired a team of professional crab whisperers to negotiate with the coconut crabs and broker a peace treaty. In exchange for their allegiance, Jerry promised the coconut crabs a never-ending supply of coconuts and a weekly coconut-themed dance party. With mere hours left before the deadline, Jerry still had millions of dollars to spend. He frantically purchased a fleet of hot air balloons, a lifetime supply of inflatable sumo suits, and commissioned a life-size statue of himself made entirely out of cheese. As the clock ticked down, Jerry found himself surrounded by a mountain of absurd purchases, yet still millions of dollars remained unspent. In a last-ditch effort, he decided to throw the mother of all parties, a lavish extravaganza complete with fireworks, celebrity impersonators, and a giant chocolate fountain. But as the party reached its climax, Jerry had a revelation. He realized that he could sell all the extravagant items he had purchased and still be very wealthy. With renewed determination, Jerry sprung into action. He organized a massive yard sale, inviting the entire town of Quirksville to peruse his collection of oddities. To his surprise, the quirky residents of Quirksville flocked to the yard sale, eager to get their hands on Jerry's eccentric treasures. Mr. Feathers found a new home with the local circus. The solid gold bathtub became a centerpiece in the town's Museum of Absurdity, and the bubblegum-flavored toothpaste flew off the shelves faster than Jerry could blink. As the day went on, Jerry watched in amazement as his outlandish purchases were snapped up one by one. But Jerry didn't stop there. He logged onto eBay and began listing his most peculiar purchases for sale to reach a broader audience. Bidders from around the world clamored to own a piece of Jerry's absurd adventure. The cheese statue of himself became a hot commodity, with offers soaring to astronomical heights. Even the coconut crabs, now internet sensations, had their own dedicated auction page. By the end of the 24-hour period, Jerry's eBay sales had surpassed even his wildest expectations. The auction frenzy had generated enough revenue to not only recoup his entire lottery winnings, but to also leave him with a hefty surplus. With a grateful heart and a newfound appreciation for the power of online marketplaces, Jerry closed his laptop and marveled at the absurdity of it all. He may have embarked on the craziest spending spree of his life, but thanks to eBay, he had emerged victorious, richer than ever before. And as he looked out at the sunset over Quirksville, Jerry couldn't help but chuckle at the hilarity of his unlikely journey to wealth.